Hello to all you beautiful people out there, Ragnella over here bringing you the next episode of Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. In today's episode, we are going back to do a quest that I've been putting off specifically until after I have defeated the Royal Ludroth. And since I'm wearing his entire armor set right now, that's, uh, I've kind of done that. So let's go back and take a look at this quest. It is Under the Yoke. And the reason why I wanted to do this quest after I did Royal Ludroth was for the dash extract, which I need to combine with my well done steak. And this will give us a new item. And that item is mega dash juice. And we need this for a very important reason for this particular quest, because this is an egg quest and egg quests suck. Like they, they royally suck. I hate them. I don't like doing them. I think they are the worst. And so I'm maxing out my inventory space with the uh, with the Mega Dash Juice, and let's get on into this quest. So we're going back over to the area, the uh, level two quests, and right here, this is the one. Now note that we need to deliver three Gargoy eggs, and there is a Bulldrum. So here is my process for doing egg quests, and it's pretty simple. Uh, the first step is to not do them. And that seems like a really lazy passive way of going about it, but I'm quite serious. Whenever you do an egg quest, the first thing that you want to do is wait on it for a little bit. Wait until you get better items and equipment. Because almost always, these quests are going to have a large monster. And I'd much rather not deal with said large monster. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the large monster and take care of him. Usually, that's what I do. But you see these Gargoyles? They're right here. They're just, they're for the picking, and this is basically a free egg right here. How you get these Gargoyle eggs is that you have to do a sneak attack. So, let's do it. Well, okay. Well, this guy is uh, not dropping his egg. Usually, that's supposed to be the case. But I guess not. I guess this game is going to make things a little bit more difficult than I thought. Usually what I do is an attack that uh, is from behind and almost always I get an egg from the Gargua in uh, cases like that. But I'm guessing that this quest is going to make things a little bit harder on me. So it's back to the original plan. The original plan is to track down the Bulldrome and take it out because that Bulldrome is going to get in your way and oh, speaking of which, I wait. Oh, okay. There he is. I was looking a little bit too far to the right. Okay, Bulldrome time. We're just going to get rid of this guy real quick. And that way we are not going to worry about him while we're actually doing the quest. There we go. Bulldrome down. I'm not going to worry about carving him because I really don't need any Bulldrome materials. Now it's time to continue on with the quest. The next thing to do is to plan your route. Once you find the Gargwas, you need to plan out what route that you're going to take back. Uh, to base camp and so over here is probably not an area that I want to be at since there are jaggies and jaggies are a bit of a problem so I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle back around I'm gonna go from area 5 to 4 to 1 find out if there's any gargwas that uh, I can take on all right perfect there we go so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw my weapon and I'm not gonna kill him instead I'm just gonna I'm gonna tickle him there we go. There's the egg. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Mega Dash Juice, which gives me a permanent stamina boost for a limited amount of time. And so while this effect is active, I will not get exhausted. So I'm just going to roll with it. And my, fi uh, my finger right now is currently on the run button, and I'm just not going to let go. So I'm going to keep at this until I'm back at base camp. So right now, the current route I'm doing is, or is uh, five to four to one. There is no bull drum to worry about, and there are no jaggies to worry about, but that could change. Area one is not a safe area in cases like this during egg quests. All right, there we go. These guys seem pretty peaceful. All right, so I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to bother them. I'm going to let them do their own thing. 
All right, and now the next challenge for me personally is to not to drop the egg. The problem with egg quests is that whenever you're holding it, if you touch anything, if something tickles you, you're going to drop this egg and you're going to have to do it all over again. And worse, if you jump off a high enough edge, then you're going to have issues. And here is the next problem. Remember how I was talking about monsters and triggers? In the case with egg quests, that is one of the big obstacles. When you either gather the egg for the first time or you deliver an egg, then that tr causes a trigger in the game to tell you, or it tells the game that, oh, he has an egg and it's time to change things up a bit. So things are going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. Uh, area 4 still looks relatively safe. Uh, area 1 is not because of Banabras. Let's see, what's uh, in Area 5? Okay, Gargwas are back. Alright, so just another thing. I'm gonna do a Fade Slash. And there we go. There's another one. And just know that you can only get away with doing this once to a Gargwa. <laughs> when... Uh, when it notices that it's being attacked, it will run, and every other uh, mo a monster in the vicinity that is an herbivore will pretty much run, too. Oh, there's a couple gargoyles over there. And, man, I, I, swear, I swear I heard a bull drum for a second. So I'm going to try to circle back and see if I can't pick off a couple of those uh, gargoyles, assuming that they stay. All right, here's the next challenge. Banabras aren't much of a threat. If it was a Jaggy, then I'd be much more worried. But uh, the other uh, tactic that I use is that any monster on a route that is hostile, like the, the route that I use to get back to base camp, I will keep killing them until they either stop respawning or I will keep killing them until there's only like one left that respawns all the time. And that's, that's always a case-by-case -case basis. Now, my boost is... I'm thinking it's about to run out here pretty soon, but since that uh, that second uh, that second egg was delivered, things have been changed up again. So now we have bull drums. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure I have a mini whetstone in my inventory. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna use that real quick. I, I think I hear another bull drum somewhere, and I just don't know where, and it bugs me. Alright, there's the uh, Gargoyles. So I'm going to go back and forth between areas 5 and 4, and uh, just kill any bull drums I see. And I'm doing that specifically to keep the bull drums from attacking me. Or, the Bullfango. I've been probably calling them um, uh, bull drums this entire time, so uh, Bullfango, so... Make sure that the Bullfangos are dead, that way they are not harassing you. Kill the Bulldrome first so that they uh, so that they just don't run into you and they see you and then they start going after you. It'd just be it just be awful. So I'm gonna go check one more time. Alright, looks pretty quiet. Alright. Now I feel safe enough to go and get that egg and uh, and come back. And there we go. Egg number three. Oh! Well, I learned something. I didn't know Gargoyles can actually attack you. <laughs> okay, that's, um... That's, uh, that's new. Granted, that attack was completely ineffective, but, you know, uh... Well then, well, well played, GG. Okay, now that all that's left is to get this egg back to base camp with as little trouble as possible. Do not dodge roll when you're holding this egg, otherwise you will drop it. Okay, and lastly, alright, just need to avoid two Banabras. Again, they're not going to be a threat since they are very particular on how they attack. They only attack when they kind of want to, and even then, it's oftentimes not directly. They're kind of slow to attack. All right, there we go. And the delivery of the final egg. There we go. So, the 
the notes that you should be taking for these quests. Wait a bit until you get better equipment. Uh, scout out where the monster or egg is located at. Take on any large monsters and get rid of them so they are out of your way throughout the duration of the quest. And along the route that you're going to be taking back to base camp, kill any hostile monsters that are for sure going to be in your way. So that's Bolfangos, that's, uh, that's Jaggies. In other cases, it could be Roggies or even, or even Baggies. I believe there's a suit stone quest later on. And make sure you use that Mega Dash Juice with the Dash Extract as well as the Well Done Steak to get your Mega Dash Juices. That way you don't run out of energy while you're carrying the egg. So follow those steps and you should be just fine. Well, that's going to do it for me and this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in any of my other content, be sure to hit on one of the annotations that will be featured at the end of this video. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Take care, people.